Hi, it's me again. Well, I didn't blow away. It's still kind of windy out there. But I wanted to show you um, how to make these container gardens. Oh, there's my truck. <laughs> 65 Chevy. Um, what, I, what I've done now this is an apple juice containers and what I found that these work better than the soda bottles because the soda bottles uh, have these little legs and if you're plant you're putting them on something that's not a totally even surface they tend to be tippy anyhow the what I've done is you need two containers for sure and you cut them basically evenly putting the spout down into the bottom with some basic gravel and then some gravel down inside and that really stabilizes and then what I do is I cut the slats And I went tried both ways, and of course, this way works better because then it acts as like a little roof. And when you pour the water in to refeed your container, it doesn't spill back out. Um, with these, what I've also found is that the rock wool works better than the peat pots. And I'm sure that, you know, there's some of you out there that are, oh, more down to earth and using organic acid-free paper as your planners. But the whole purpose of this little project is that when I go to Grower's Market, my thought is, is that if people want a little window garden that maybe they'll take care of it like it was a little, you know, a pet, because it's, these are very low maintenance. I water these maybe once, twice a week. No, once every two weeks, sorry. And, and they flourish. And, uh, I don't know, call me an optimist or whatever. But, yeah, I know that the plastic is bad for us and the, all the stuff that's in there, but... I don't know, I think first and foremost, if people can have like a little tiny thing where they have somewhat control over what they're, they're eating, even if it's minuscule like this, then maybe they'll start thinking about food and what we put into our bodies and our relationship with gardening and the earth that you know it'll become a bigger thing i don't know call me crazy an optimist spending too much time in my balcony garden <laughs> anyway so i'll fill this back up and i'll put each planter space of a different sprouting and i think for the top with this one i'm going to do peas because then they can grow up Anywho, all right, well, thanks for looking at what I'm doing. Bye.